Oh. What a wonderful cover. Oh, I miss Bunty. It's beautiful. So let's wait up and welcome Heather up to uh, give us some poems from it. Heather Molson. excited about my new book. Um, I've, I've got a new one as well, so I'll, what I'll do is read that one, and then um, then I'll read some of my, my lovely book, Bunty, I Miss You. <laughs> Bunty, I Miss You? Bunty, I Miss You. It's a girl's thing. Uh, Bunty comic, yes. <laughs> and and <laughs> I feel exactly the same way about Judy. <laughs> Oh yeah, Judy, oh, Judy. I'm still missing Don't start her. So, um, so this one is um, called um, Car Drivers, and um, it's the misery of waiting for someone to come to your party. So, uh, so this is Car Drivers. Someone should be here by now. Suppose no one comes, Julie. I hope Pete Myers will. But then he might get off with Kim Webb. In my own house, oh God, I'll have to watch them dancing to be Rod Stewart records. <laughs> or she could be watching us, she won't like it. Does my lyrics top go with this maxi skirt? I've done me hair like Lindsay DePaul. What do you mean, Wendy Richard, you cheeky cow? <laughs> well, someone's pulled up. Oh, Julie, why do we only get angrier drivers? Never Capri ones. We just haven't got what they want. And in the books, everyone came, never missing out on hers, searching her honey skin and hazel eyes, desperate for an invite. I nearly had a snog with Pete at Janet Kett's party. Our breath on each other's faces, the same reek of cheap cider and 10 number six. I was so close. I'll never get there, will I? I'll never get off with a boy. Why can't I be on the pill like Jane Birch? How many boyfriends has she had? No, she's not invited. She'll only go straight upstairs. I'll settle for actually going out with a boy. Stick on the monkeys, we'll listen to them and try to forget about the doorbell not ringing. Have we got enough cider? I've nicked one of me dad's what party's party sevens. I hope to God someone's got a can opener. <laughs> Salt crisps, the bowl will be full of fag butts. Whose bright idea was this? I'm going to sit in my room and read Clockwork Orange again. Tell me when it's all over. <laughs> 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 so, uh, yes, yeah, so to keep it in the period, I'm going to read from my new book, and, and this one, it, 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 I have read it before, this one is about uh, my cousin, who was the bane of my life, um, this is Lisa. Oh, cousin Lisa, with your white blonde pigtails and creamy skin, replete in your brownie uniform. Wholesome, yet deadly. I hated you so much. <laughs> Behind closed doors in your pristine white bedroom, you told me how you really have a baby. The sound of the hair playing repeatedly in the background because it had the word shit in one of the songs. <laughs> Downstairs, you'd show off your coloured telly while your posh mum shoved currant bread at me calling it tea when it wasn't even hot. <laughs> you stayed intact while I walked out your door in pieces, never to be the same again. I loved you so much. Oh. <laughs> um, yes, if it's all right, can I do another one? I, Please do. I always do two and then run off. <laughs> so, yes. Um, and um, I think I do, yes, I was trying to do Bloody Liars, so that's number 40. I know it, I don't know why I'm looking it up really. Um, yes, uh, this is Bloody Liar, and this is about, uh, Julie's in this as well. <laughs> bloody Liar. Julie, you're a bloody liar. You said on your first date with Justin Lloyd, you showed him your tits. The second, your knickers. And the third was full sexual intercourse. 
He didn't even know who you were. I had to tell him. You couldn't even go up the Wimpy Bar, let alone anywhere else, you fat cow. And what about that extra film you said you'd get me into? I don't think your uncle really does work at the cinema. And I would know what to do with a boy behind the bushes, thank you very much. Despite you going around telling everyone I wouldn't. I'm not sitting next to you anymore. I don't care about your new ruler. You can stick it up your ass. <laughs> and if you think I'm going up that dreary youth club with you again, no, don't lie to me anymore. The Osmonds are not going to be there. They are not a friend of your cousins. <laughs> or are they? Okay then, just this one. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff. The 70s, <laughs> don't you wish you were still there? <laughs> I, I still am.